Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this specific tool called DID and make videos like this. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Pretty awesome, right? Now that video is fairly easy to make with this tool I'm going to show you called DID. Let me just minimize this one. And by the way, guys, if you're watching this on your Android devices, your MacBook, or your tablet, please stay in the video because the process is literally the same across all devices. Even though I'm using right now a PC setup with the Windows OS running, it's perfectly fine. And by the way guys, please stay in the video because I'm going to reveal a very interesting information. And that being said, let's get started right here. And this is going to be their website. It's going to be called studiodid.com. Technically, it's going to be called DID. And for this one, you're going to need an account. And you might asking me that, how do we need the account? Because there is a subscription plan for this one. However, if you renew this DID studio, you're going to have a free trial. So before we get started, let's tackle their pricing. And you'll see this one if I click that pricing earlier, will be directed on this landing page. So first thing first, you can set your plans for monthly or annually. So you can check it one at a time. However, for annually, there is a limited time offer up to 45%. And that being said, let's take it one step of a time. So right now I have this trial. It's $0 per month, 20 credits. It's a five minutes of video. One credit is up to 15 seconds of video. So personal license, full screen watermark, that's it, and limited support. That being said, you can have the Canva plugin, PowerPoint plugin, and AS generators for the free account. If you're using for light one for $5 a month or 4.7 technically, this is going to be your own. You're going to have 10 minutes of video with 52 credits. And that being said, you'll still have the watermark, but it's going to be a DID. It's just going to be on the side right there. And that being said, you'll have additional support here. Also, you'll have 50 AI presenter prompts. So the most used account here or most used plan is going to be the pro version with 15 minutes of video and then the AI watermark is gone all the way or just technically just an AI. You'll have amazing support and basically you'll have everything on the previous plans. And that being said, these are the pricing. So trial, light, pro, advanced, and enterprise. For enterprise, it's going to be um, to be discussed regarding the pricing. It's really up to you and your business. So let's go back to the landing page of the ID. And here we go. Basically, with this one, I just want you to click on create video on the top right section. So if you click create video right there, you'll open up this editing platform. So you're going to see the one I created earlier. I'm just going to delete everything and choose a new presenter. So as you can see right there, we have presenters over here. We have a lot of people. And basically, if you notice, there's going to be HQ or high quality bar or template on the top section. For this one, there are four paid subscription users. Please take note, these are for paid subscription users. So for now, I suggest use the one with no watermark, or rather no HQ watermark. Now, if you've chosen your very own AI avatar, now for example, I'm going to go with this guy right here. I want you to put your attention on the script section on the right. So basically, it's just a very user-friendly interface. Once you've chosen your avatar, type in the script that you want your avatar to say. For example, the one earlier, I tried good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I think I misspelled afternoon right there. Fixed it. Perfect. So basically, that's what I did earlier. And now, once you're satisfied with your script, I want you to take note that there are still things to check here. On this button right here, you can listen. Before generating the video, you can listen how it works. So let's try it right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As you heard right there, you can really hear it or rather try it out before generating the video itself so you don't waste your credits. Now on this second option, it's going to be breaks. It's just like how you talk. There's going to be intonations. There's going to be on how you talk on your real self. For example, I'm, I'm talking right now and I'm going to use breaks in a few seconds. Let's try it out. So good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. So there are breaks in between those words that I use, and this is the part where you can edit them. And that being said, we can just remove those breaks because we don't really need them. Now, third option, this is fairly new. You can click this one by continue your text using AI. Basically, you're going to ask AI to help you with your text. 
If you click on that one, you'll see that AI will create a text for you. It will take a long time because technically it's AI. And as you can see right there, 10 words preview limit exceeded. So there is a paid plan for this one. We can just remove this and go back to the ones we had before. Now, on the bottom section, there's going to be language and voices. Focus first on languages. And if you click on this one, everything are in English, Chinese, every language in the world. However, quick note, for example, your English on um, default. If, for example, you want to choose this specific language called French or Belgium. Now, the thing here is it's not going to translate the script you've used. It's just going to say these words in English with the accent of French. Let's try it out right now. Let's listen to it. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good. As you heard right there, there is an accent of French. However, it's still on English. It's not directly translated. If you want to translate this directly, you can simply use this website that I've used earlier. It's going to be this, dipl.com. And technically, it's a directly Google Translate sort of thing. Just pay your language and it will um, translate it on the other side. So let's try it right now. I'm just going to copy this, paste it over here, and then I'm going to choose on German. How about for this one, I'm going to choose French. Look for French, easy as that. And basically, it's that it that is. So copy it, click on the bonjour. So if you're satisfied with this one, you can choose the voices. So since we're a guy right here, we choose Gerard and click on play for listening. Bonjour, bonjour. Now. As you can see right there, it's directly translated, and that's how you technically use this option. But I'm still gonna stick on English, so for now, I'm gonna go back to the one earlier. But for this one, I'm gonna use a different, I'm gonna stay with maybe French or English. How about let's go for a little bit fun Australian right there. And the voices here are gonna be William or Darren, I'm gonna go with Darren. Now, there's a specific voice here where you can edit or choose a specific filter of his voice or intonations. It's going to be this one right here. I'm going to look for it. So it's not on English Australia. I think it's going to be on English United States. Go back to the United States and you'll see this option. It's going to be called Guy. There you go. So if you choose Guy right there, it should be an um, option here that styles. So it's not working right now. Maybe this one in the top section and there you go. So if you choose guy, there's going to be a third option for you guys where you can choose the intonation on how we say the words. For example, in use caster, angry, cheerful, sad, excited, and so on and so forth. I'm going to choose excited right here and listen to it right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Personally, I don't like that. I'm going to go with, how about this one, Muse newscast. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Now let's try using this one right now. Click on generate and click on generate right here. As you can see, this video will cost one credit and we have 19 left. So click on generate right there. It will direct us on this media library with the ones I created before. It's fairly quick. It won't take much of your time. And that being said, it should be done in around 30 seconds to a minute. However, while waiting for it, I want to take you on another video. For example, click on create video again. And this one, we're going to tackle this G or regenerate AI presenter option right here. So basically, this is gonna be an AI, not much like a human like version. It's just like the ones you create on Mid Journey, Big Labs, um, what do you call this? Runaway ML. So if you want to use this one, basically it's the same process from earlier. However, if you take your um, eyes right there, you can add a prompt. You can generate your own photo from scratch. For example, this guy right here, click on generate. This will take around a minute or two and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. And this is the AI prompt that we got from this specific words right there. So we choose one of each and then at your gallery, for example, I'm going to choose this guy right here, the second photo. And as you can see, avatar added. So simply click on it and then you can proceed with this photo. Again, same tactic, same process. Just edit the scripts on this right side right there. So I'm just going to retain my script there and then choose a specific language for this one. Now, if I'm satisfied with this, I can just simply click on generate video and I'm good to go. However, there is this option right there that says audio. So if you click on this one, you'll have your option to upload your own voice right there. So if you click on this, just upload your voice. However, 
you cannot record your own voice as of now. It's still um, on the process version over here. So right now, let's try uploading my own voice and uploading my own photo that I got from the internet. So right now, let's just click on create right there. How about now? Click on add. And then I'm just going to look for a photo that I got. This one right here that I got from Midjourney. And wait for it to download. And basically, while downloading, I'm going to upload now my own voice. So click on this one. And just choose for a sample voice I got from a video I made before. So how about this one right here? Wait for it to load up. This will take around a minute or two, and that's going to be it. Now, technically, with this one, it's not an AI that gets your voice. It's technically, you should record the thing you want to say. For example, I'm going to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I should record that voice and attach it here. Because if you just use a different voice or a random voice, the specific content of that um, Vorx recording will be implanted on this photo. So if you click on generate right there, this voice you made and this photo will be combined. Basically, that's going to be it. So let's create a new video right here, starting from a photo and um, a voice recorder I had and click on generate right there. So this is going to be five credits. I still have 19 left. I think I'm good to go right here. Click on generate and it will automatically go to my media library. So let's try the video we made earlier. Click on play. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And that being said, that's how you use this new AI tool to create your own AI videos. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.